So a while ago, I made a video on how to create e-signatures inside Go High Level, and it was a bit of janky, it was a bit of a workaround, but apparently High Level have released their own contracting platform inside Go High Level, which I didn't even notice. However, I saw it today, so I'm going to run through <laughs> how to actually set it up. So first things first, we're logged in inside Go High Level. First thing we're going to go to is payments. Now, payments is not a tab that I usually go to very often. However, I was in there today for some reason or another, and I stumbled across documents and contracts. So if we jump in and have a look documents and contracts sits up here and i was like hmm i wonder what this actually is so it's the ability to create exactly what it says documents and contracts so if i go into templates here and we click on new it will let us either upload a pdf that we already have or select a new template if you're like me and ChatGPT writes your templates i'm going to run through how i do that now so what we're going to do it's a very similar to the email builder if you've used it in ghl before or mailchimp's mail email builder it's pretty simple so what we're going to do is press plus at the top and have text and we're going to click it and drag it across by the way if you're having issues with the click and drag in ghl turn off your like ad blocker for some reason that was an issue for me so what we're going to do we're going to write a sample contract or contracting and we're going to grab a really quick ghl contract write a very simple contract for contracting all right so we have our contract we'll go back here and what we are going to do we're going to backspace this part going to add in another text and we're going to just chuck this in here and we've got it here cool so service contract now what we can start doing is replacing the values with different variables so obviously we've got insert date here the way that we can insert those variables is by creating a document variable so if we search in date, it's going to have document.created date. If we copy this to clipboard and insert date here, it lets me backspace, delete, and paste that in. We've got document created date, right? And then we've got client name. So if we go back to the variable and type in name, so that's sub account name, but if we type in client, it doesn't come up. So we're gonna go client name. We should be able to create that variable. So client name and variable value is client name, save, special character. Okay, uh, it doesn't like the space, client name. There we go. We save that. Again, a little bit buggy. Sometimes their releases aren't 100%, but if we go document client name, there we go. And we'll put that in here and paste it in. See, again, buggy. But if we get click out of that and paste it here, created by and between and we would just say in here, your business name. And then, cool. So now we're going to go down to the client. So again, we're gonna input the client's name, which is docu uh, document client name, paste. And then we're gonna add in their signature. So if we go plus and then add in signature, we should be able to add that in here, right? So we just drag it and pop it here, make it a bit smaller. And that should be good. And then we can add in date as well, hopefully. Go bang. And just drag that over here. Now, if we wanted to create like a, our own signature, right? You would just download this as a PDF, enter in your signature, and that's pretty much it. So that you have your signature on all of your contracts. That's how I would do it. Instead of having to fill these out manually every time. Because if you send out a client contract you don't want to be bottlenecked by yourself before the client actually signs it so if it's something you already know you're happy with the terms just hard code it essentially so back into ghl we're just going to save this template we're going to use template so now we're going to send it out as a test and i will also show you how to automate this one so if you're wondering oh can i automate this into my pipeline and into my workflow yes you can i'll show you how to do it cool so we have our contract here. It's got our little fields here. Recipients, we can send it to client. We're going to just send it to me. Info, cool. Oh, you can send by a link too. Generate the link. Oh, I want to do this anyway. <laughs> See, I'm discovering things about it as well. So if we then paste this in here, should, should be the keyword, come out with a start filling out. Fantastic. So we're going to go start filling out. It's got my name in there already. So obviously we need a backspace client name and client name hasn't been filled in properly. So that would need to be fixed. But if we go signature, it has my name ready to go. And then you can enter the date here. So whatever, 1st 
and then you can hit finish. Very cool of GHL to build this very simple but very effective agreement into their platform. So this has been missing in GHL for a while, so I'm really happy it's kind of here. How to automate it. So what we're gonna need to do now is go back into GHL and go into the actual automation section. When we're in here, we'll be able to kind of look at when you would implement this into your business and when you would trigger it, right? So. What we'll do is we'll go into uh, pipeline for a second. So opportunities and I've got an empty pipeline here. So for me, it would be under closed deal, right? So we would have them under there and we would be able to trigger this when that runs. So what we're gonna do is go automation and I'm just gonna create a new workflow. So you can see it from scratch. I'm gonna go start from scratch set the trigger to be pipeline status is changed. Right, we're in, we're gonna select our trigger, pipeline status stage change, so in pipeline, automation agency clients, and stage is closed deal, we're gonna save this trigger. And then the action you want from this is document, no, 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 it's proposal. So send proposal estimates, and then from user me, then the template is just the new template we created. We're gonna save action, right? Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna have the contact details that are in your pipeline already, and then it's gonna fill the placeholders with the information that you have in here. So when you have the details in the pipeline already, it's going to populate your contract for you. Now, this may take a little bit of tweaking for you to get it right. However, when you do, it will streamline this process like crazy. So whilst I'm here, I'm literally just gonna check to see if there's a separate trigger for when the document is signed. There is. So what we can look at here is when proposal is signed, the document type is proposal, then you can run other things off that. So say for example, you have the proposal's been signed and once the proposal has actually been filled out, then you instigate your payment or you instigate like a Slack message for a customer service rep to reach out then you can have that as well. So again, staying on top of contracts, staying on top of when contracts are signed will allow you to streamline your process tenfold. So this is something that I'm really stoked that GHL has implemented. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna build this into your workflow and save yourself a bunch of time. And also platform costs. I saw Dropbox sign, kind of sell their like automation account for like 75 USD per license, which is just insane. Pandadocs the same. Uh, you can get up to thousands of dollars per month if you're sending out, for now, sending out enough contracts. Whereas this just allows you to build it into GHL and GHL once again continues to consume other platforms and that's why it's such a game changer.